Hello and welcome. A day or so ago I was playing around in Second Life and I wanted to create a script and put it in a cone instead of a cube and I decided I wanted it to be in a pretty cone. So, ah, uh, need to play with ben Brent Lula, Blender. Okay, so Blender 2.8 beta 2019 January 8th version of Blender. So let's make a pretty cone. And so f to do that, we need to learn a little more about cycles and rendering. Okay, so here's our cone. And we, uh, 16 is enough. Well, let's see. Yeah, that's good. 16 edges and we want to do a shade smooth and GZ1 put it up there and set the origin to the 3D cursor okay I'm going to delete the light because we're not going to need it. Hopefully we'll show you why in a moment. All right, so the first thing we need to do, let's get into UV editing. And we need to create a material. We'll call the material cone. And yeah, we're going to be using nodes. Oh, and we also need to get out of the EV and go to cycles. Now I'm going to spare you the details or the agony of watching my experimentations that I had. I discovered that if I did our normal mark seam and unwrap with this entry here, I could not get the latter part of this function to work. So, and with a bunch of experimenting, I found out how to make this happen. So, while we're here, the upper numerics on your keyboard will change from one vertices, two edges, three faces. So we want to do a smart UV project instead of the other guy. And obviously the unwrap is significantly different. Now we need to put create a file for it so we can unwrap it into something, or an image. Okay, we got that. Now we can do some shading, and this is where the fun begins. All right, I've turned on the options for the Node Wrangler. So I do a Control. So you highlight this guy here, and then just type Control T. And we're going to need these uh, guys here, but we don't need the image texture in here, so select that one and delete it. Now we want to do a converter, separate XYZ. And we want it generated, our cone. Okay, you'll see why this is in a moment. Converter, oops, uh, where is it at? Color ramp, yeah. Okay, take the Z, feed it into the color ramp, take that and feed it into our principal shader. Let's see if we can't, we're not quite done with it. We'll see if we can't get this thing to look pretty here. 
I always fumble around with this a little bit to get it to there. Okay, that should do it. All right, so what we want to do is we want to, the whole point of this is to try and make a, a graduated color from the bottom of the cube to the top of the tube. And I somehow I decided I wanted three different colors. So I hit the plus key, got the three sliders here. So let's move over to the right and then click this bar and the top of our cube is going to be in the sky and then the middle of our cube is going to be associated with grass close enough and the bottom of the I keep saying cube it's a cone it's going to be in that other place whatever you call it down there now, come on, shade me here. There we go, shading. Right, got it. Okay, there we go. Cool. All right, now we need to lighten that up a little bit. So we're going to get the world, use my nodes, change the color to white, and put a strength of about, I think I chose three. Thereabouts, yeah, okay. So now we've got our color ramp a whole bit, and it looks a little bit uh, could have used a few more vertices, maybe giving it 32 instead of 16. We did say smooth, right? Yeah, we did, okay. Okay, all we got to do now is well, save it and bake it so let's do the baking as been mentioned more than once or twice in order to do a bake um, this is what we're this is called a, a procedural material you want to choose that uv t texture that we created when we were uv editing Make sure this guy is active. Don't need to have an output set for it. Okay. And let me see. We can show that here. Yeah, we can show it here. It'll, it'll just, I'm not going to do a texture bake, but what it'll show us is it'll show how it builds the uh, UV onto that cube UV. So we get into bake and for this particular example I'm going to just do a combined. You could also do a diffuse which will get you the color. Go over, save your UV here and as a file. And where's it at? Oh, right, there. Save as. Save it as a file and import it into Second Life. And then do another UV or bake and do the, I think it's the roughness. I'll have to experiment maybe with that later. And do a roughness bake. And then it will come up with a different entry here. Do another save. And then import that one into Second Life. And then you can apply both of those textures to your end resulting cube. But for this one we're just going to do a combined. And on the bottom there you'll see it's giving us the status of the bake with the elapsed time. And hopefully, yeah, we got it. There's our pretty pictures. So what we do need to do is do a save as and let's see, we want to put this in our Blender 2.8 files and we'll call it the Cone UV and save it. And then I want to do a save the uh, save the blend file. I've had this thing crash a few times, not too bad, but a few times. 
Okay, and then we need to do an export. Uh, call out a file and do that. Okay, so we're done with Blender. Now let's go over to Second Life and see what we got. Okay, here we are in Second Life. And as you can see, I've done that several times. Let's get rid of that. Trash, empty trash, fine. Don't need that old copy. Okay, do a upload, mesh model, our gradient, UV, happened to be what I called it. And it's not one of those, so change it to not one of those. And we're going to set the level of detail above, level of detail above. That's far enough, way back there. And calculate the weights and fees and do the upload. And there's our cone. Okay, now let's get, and do a control U in this guy. And we're going to do the cone UV. Yeah, that one. Yep, there it is. Okay. There's our exported UV from Blender. Isn't that pretty? And then drop that on there. Fingers crossed. Did this work? It did. And there's our cone with our fancy gradient on it. Our, that material is like a procedural material that's been created. We didn't have to do a editing and try and create a gradient. I, you know, for a, a flat surface like or a cube or something like that, you could do a, with Blender easily enough to create a color gradient and it might look a little better. But I want to do this with Blender. So, okay, that's all I got for you. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll see if I can answer them. And thanks for watching. Bye.